Well, hello, chaps. Wolfgore here, and welcome back to the vlog day section of my channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, so today, I thought it would be fun to talk to you guys about my top five favorite animes. Um, I know I get, like, a weirdly ton of questions about anime when I'm streaming. Maybe it's just because... I'm a huge weeb and it just comes across when I'm streaming, so people are like, hey, you know, let, let share. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I just thought it would be fun to kind of put this out there, kind of think it through myself, really come up with a good list of my top five favorite animes, and hopefully some of you guys will uh, check out some that you haven't seen yet and get some enjoyment out of this. So without any further ado, let's hop into the list. Number five, a classic, Full Metal Alchemist. Either original or Brotherhood, I could really go either way on this. I was actually watching the original TV series that came out uh, back when I was like a teenager and I was watching it on TV as the episodes were coming out and it was so fucking good. And then I went ahead and watched uh, Brotherhood when that finally came out and I, I resisted for years. I don't know if any of you FMA fans out there did this too. But yeah, Brotherhood came out and I was like, oh, they're fucking up the story because I never read the, the manga or the comics or whatever. Uh, so I assumed that Brotherhood was them messing with the story. In reality, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is actually the correct canon of what happens in the, uh, the manga series. And the series that I had watched was the fucked up version. But, uh, yeah, so I, I, I was really fond of the original series, which a lot of people aren't because it didn't follow the manga, but I didn't know that when I first watched it, and I watched it through several times and loved it, so it has a very fond place in my heart, and, uh, Brotherhood is just so fantastic. I haven't watched it as many times, but it's, it's such a good anime. If you guys haven't watched Full Metal Alchemist, original or Brotherhood, one or the other, check them out. They are fan-fucking-tastic. Number four, Attack on... Titan. A-O-T? Yeah, A-A-A-O-T! I have an Attack on Titan poster over there I'd show you, but it would involve fucking with the camera and I don't want to do that. Oh god, Attack on Titan is just so good. If you are looking to have your heart ripped out, chewed up in front of you by a naked giant, and then spit back in your face just before it chews up the rest of you and spits you back out, then Attack on Titan is the anime for you. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's so fucking real like game of thrones level real if you haven't seen game of thrones then i don't know how to help you you need to like start watching more tv what's the matter with you game of thrones is amazing but yeah a lot a lot a lot of people die in attack on titan it's just like you never ever know what's gonna happen the action in it the cinematography it's probably not called cinematography in anime but this you know what i mean the cinematography is just so good i love it the only thing, the, the reason why it's sitting at the number four slot and not higher is probably because there needs to be a quality English dub of it out already. Like, what the fuck? How long has this show been out? You know, I've heard that there's actually an English version floating around out there, but I've been hearing that for a long time. I don't know if there's any truth to that. I haven't put in a ton of research, but I really want a quality English dub of Attack on Titan already because I fucking love that show. It's so good, and I'm tired of having to read subtitles and miss what's going on on the screen because it's stressful and it makes me sad. I mean, nothing against nothing against uh, watching it in Japanese and reading subtitles. I think it's not, a, it's not a bad way to experience an anime, but it could be a lot easier to watch if I didn't have to be, like, sitting there, like, trying to fucking read. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking English dub that shit already. Please. Please. Please! Coming in at the number three slot is a new one on my list of favorite animes. It is Sword Art Online. And you can watch this one right now and Sword Art Online 2, the second series, direct follow-up or direct sequel to the original on Netflix right now. And I would 100% recommend it. I just started watching it through for like the third time for me with my roommate. It's his first time watching it, a Sword Art Online version. And uh, yeah, we're... Uh, we got like 10 episodes in just yesterday, so if that speaks to anything, you know, it's hard to sit down and watch 10 episodes straight of a show. But yeah, Sword Art Online is so good. Uh, basic premise, you all know what an MMORPG is, right? You know, like World of Warcraft. You're, you, you play as a character, you go around a big expansive world, you kill monsters, you level up, you fight, blah blah blah. So, in this world, oh, oh, I just, I love the premise of it so much. In this world, 
and there's this headgear that you boop, put on and you're in complete immersive VR with like feelings and touchy touchies and everything and which is something that we need already in real life like some matrix level shit like I would be all about that I don't even care about the risks I don't even care about the risks fucking plug me into the matrix I want to figure that shit out baby so kid young guy Kirito fucking love Kirito Kirito goes into uh, Sword Art Online art aneurysm Kirito goes into Sword Art Online on launch day and realizes hey why the fuck can't we log out and he's stuck there and the thing is the guy who invented the headgear that allows you to dive into this program and Sword Art Online is like an evil genius kind of an evil genius he's the point is if you die in the game you die in real life and you can't get out and nobody can take your headgear off or else it'll kill you if they try and it's fucking crazy and it's such a cool premise and the show gives you like so many feels and it's like at first you're like eh, I don't know if I'm into it I don't know if I'm into it but then it just pulls you in with these incredibly deep characters and all this deep emotion that you can normally not get from an anime like this because it's so lighthearted and yet it's so dark and complex at the same time fucking watch Sword Art Online 24 episodes in the first series and 24 episodes in the second series absolutely must watch absolutely must watch number three on my list number two for the number two slot i have to put up one punch man i'm pretty sure you can watch one punch man on netflix still i haven't checked in the past few weeks but the last time i checked it was still there and oh my god if you are ready to get just rock and fucking rolled by a show in just like what is it 10 episodes in season one and that's all that's out and this is going to be one of the best things you've ever seen in your life like easily top five anime from every single person that i know that has watched it i think the main thing that keeps people away from this anime is you know they see like the memes and whatnot like they, they see sayatama like from a meme and he's just like this funny looking bald guy and they're like oh that doesn't actually look very good no you're wrong you need to watch it like the action is next level it is the best what do they call the action animes are they uh, I'm, I know I'm going to use the wrong word. Are they shonen animes or something? Well, it's it's an action anime, basically. It's a little bit like Dragon Ball Z. It references a ton of uh, action animes from over the years, but it just does it so fucking well. It is absolutely hysterically hilarious. There is no filler bullshit ever. Like, it's just really, really good, fast-paced, awesome fight scenes basically non-stop and in between that it's not like just the characters being like blah, 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 saying the same fucking thing to each other for the fourth goddamn time in that episode and going back to a fucking flashback of like that one character crying about blah, blah. like it just goes and goes and goes it's just making you laugh your ass off or it's being fucking savage incredible fight scenes like you have to watch one punch man it is one of the best series I've ever watched of any genre. As for animes, it easily, easily takes the number two spot and almost took the number one spot for me, but not quite. Because, number one, there's no quality English dub out yet. It is in Japanese, not that that's a big deal. I really enjoy watching this anime in Japanese. That really didn't take away from it for me at all, but it could... It could be in English, and they could fucking come out with another season already. Like, I watched it, I think season one came out like two years ago, maybe three years ago or something like that. Like, it's been way too long. But we are scheduled for season two this year, 2018, I am 99% sure. So, looking forward to that, fucking watch One Punch Man, it'll change your life. It'll absolutely change your life. And for the number one slot, I had to go with Death Note. If you haven't seen Death Note yet, you are fucking missing out, my friend. Death Note is absolutely incredible. Talk about, like, a, a psychological thriller that will just take you on a ride of immaculate immersion. Like, ooh, that was some good alliteration there, wasn't it? Um, Death Note, fucking incredible. You, uh... I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I'll just give you the basic premise. I'll give you the basic premise if you haven't watched it yet. Spoiler alert. How about that? Spoiler alert. Uh, so, like, just to set up the first episode, this guy, this really, really smart young guy, because for some reason all anime male characters are like 16 years old for some reason. So, he's like a high school student, incredibly smart, like, gifted smart. And uh, he gets this 
notebook of death dropped by an actual god of death, like a Shinigami, Japanese god of death. And with this notebook, he has... Ugh, mm, mm, the anime verbs, excuse me. So with this notebook, he has got the ability to write down somebody's name while picturing their face, and they will die. They'll just fucking die of a heart attack. And, you know, there's there's some some gimmicks to it. You know, he can he can write down how they die. He can, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you to discover all the joys of the death note. You know, it's got a lot of fancy little things that he can do with it. But the guy basically decides, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up the world. I'm gonna remove all the trash, all the villains, all the all the pieces of shit that don't deserve to be alive, all the murderers, rapists, fucking child molesters, all that shit, you know? And it's so fucking good. And he, like, lo starts losing his mind, just becomes, like, this total... Uh, what's the word megalomaniac or something like that like just wants to become like a god and is like trying to actually do it and it's so fucking good like I don't understand how normal people were able to write that series it was so good it's such a intense psychological thriller that I just I just can't even fucking handle it like absolutely love it like I have a, a light Yagami scroll hanging right over there he watches me while I sleep because uh, team light by the way team light any of you L fans out there or near fans if you're into near then I don't even know how to talk to you but you know if you're an L fan I respect you I really like L I love their dynamic but I'm a light guy personally um, but yeah yeah absolutely another must watch i think i believe it's 37 episodes and it's absolutely worth every single one and don't you dare watch that live action netflix version that just came out it's set in like america and it doesn't follow the story at all it was total fucking trash i couldn't even finish it like it wasn't even a good movie to begin with and the fact is it just doesn't go along with the anime whatsoever like not at all don't even watch it you're not gonna get the Death Note experience even a little bit it was uh, 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 oh it was so bad it was so fucking bad well that was my top five anime list I hope you guys appreciated it I hope you don't think I have bad taste but if you do think I have bad taste feel free to tell me down in the comments below tell me what you like what I shouldn't like, what I should like, what I should watch, and definitely tell me what you think about the animes that you've seen. And if you're watching this in the future or something, and you end up watching one of the animes that I like, make sure to tell me that you enjoyed it or hated it or whatever. Just feel free to tell me anything anime related down below and have a chat with each other about anime. That'd be fun too. I love, I love talking anime. I'm just a big old nerd like that. But uh, I think that's where we're going to call this video for today. Guys, I love your faces so much. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you could like the video before you go, it really does help my channel grow, and I'd really appreciate it. Definitely leave me comments. They're my favorite part of doing this. And subscribe if you're new here. Love your guys' faces. Beard heart. Bye.